Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Epic Battle Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we did a lot of backtracking with the hammer to see what all we could find. We did find a very interesting, like, undead-like area that contained a secret boss we could not access yet. We will get there, though. In the meantime, we're exploring the jungle now. We have Nirvana, the Nirvana staff now. Bit of stuff back here we can find. Uh, to get started, let's start by taking on these enemies over here. Where we have some furry slimes as well as some bushes. All of them can be highly damaged with a well-placed fire attack. So I think, yeah, throughout this jungle we'll probably want to focus on some all-out fire attacks. Let's get Natalie out here so she can unleash her widespread fire attack. And why don't we actually focus this turn towards boosting a bit of evasion. So that way we can then proceed to do a few things. First off, let's whip out Matt so he can unleash a regular attack. So we can whip out that next wave. And then continue forth with our attack plan of unleashing widespread fire attacks. These guys don't have that much weakness to that. They do have some weakness to earth attacks, so it'll probably be a good idea here we cast Gaia Blossom. Do some decent damage and gets them a bit tired. That took her out in one hit? How did that happen? Alright, luckily one of those guys got stunned and instantly taken out. Oh, I hope all those attacks don't take us out before I can revive Anna. Alright, another widespread flame attack. And one more attack on this guy should finish him off. So let's cast Soul Arrow, that should be more than enough. And they were fairly weak, so we didn't get much XP from them. That gave us just a few resources. What do you guys have to say? I need cat food, but there's only one way to get it from. Uh, cats. I found a bunch of shiny trinkets in the jungle while hunting. Didn't actually find any animals, though, so I'm hungry again tonight. Yikes. Uh, what other quests could we complete at this time? Oh, we could go back and uh, complete a quest from... Uh, Greenwood Village at this time. What do you have to say? Oh, this isn't uh, an actual... This is a fight. I thought that was an NPC we could talk to. Alright, I'm gonna ignore them for now. Alright, so that's going on there. I want to quick head back to the village so we can finish off that side quest. Now that we can do it. There she is. Yes! Here, take this pet cactus, which I trained especially for you. We have the mad cactus, maced on targets, hits three times. Alright, back into the jungle we go. Up next, why don't we take on this enemy over here for that chest up there. More enemies that can easily be taken out with fire attacks. Let's start with Firestorm. And then cast the Flame Burst. Which somehow wasn't enough to take them all out. Okay. That's fine though. We can take one of them out so I can get an additional turn to take some time to do some uh, strategy planning. These guys are... Unleashing quite a few dangerous attacks. And Lance is stunned now. So I'm going to need to take a turn to uh, get get Matt out here instead. Seeing how we can't use Lance at the moment. It's fine though. We still got some reasonably strong attacks we can use. Alright, go ahead and unleash Swift Slash on them. That should take out the Slimes. 
Thing uh, really strong with the weakened status effect, so why don't we cast Purify this turn? Because I would prefer our attacks don't get weakened. Alright, then continue with... Alright, let's do Swift Slash. And why don't we focus this turn towards a heal more? I know that gives us them another chance to weaken us, but I'm not too worried at the moment. Oh, the double hit. Wow. Okay, now we got these guys to worry about. So I'd say our best shot would be with dark attacks. So let's cast Screamer, because that weakens their magic attacks. Then, why don't we whip out Lance here? Because Lance has the yeah, high damage bomb attacks. Which will be useful on those guys. And then, why don't we cast... Uh, none of these attacks are useful. Why don't we replace Anna with Natalie for this turn? And Natalie can cast Firestorm. Most of these enemies are relatively weak, so I'm not... I say that right as I get hit by a strong attack. Alright, let's unleash an airstrike. Let's say on this guy up here. Oh, yes, the strong one. Alright, then a regular attack should probably be enough to finish him off. Yep, it is. Allowing us to get the next set of treasure. Now, let's take this time to rethink our strategies here. First things first, like always, go ahead and level up a few things, because I think we could really upgrade a few flame attacks with Lance, because, yeah, Lance has a lot of abilities that he can learn. We, he can also now learn the nuke limit break. What is, in my personal opinion, a kind of bad limit break? On the one hand, it's high fire damage, and I think can also poison or something like that. At the same time, though, it also damages your own party members, making it kind of a double-edged sword, as most people like to call it. Uh, in the meantime, though, what else could I... I really want to... I think it'll be a good idea we upgrade the flame attacks at this time. Those will be very strong and effective to use in combat. For this, let's get... Why don't we activate Antimatter? Because that's a stronger attack than the regular basic Dark Shot. And then, I guess, upgrade the Med Pack, because that can be upgraded. Up next, we have Natalie, which... Can't upgrade anything there, so let's go ahead and get the Ice Storm ready. Uh, max that out and then give judgment so she can learn Genesis a hot a widespread holy attack which may weaken targets as well as revives or gives auto revive status to all our allies depending on if they're alive or dead let's also give her a pulsar at this time and then let's go ahead and upgrade the heal more spell and regular healing spell and let's take this opportunity to upgrade the revive spell because I'm kind of at that point where I'm preferring our allies get back up with some more health intact. So now we have some more power in our attacks. Allowing us to do a few things. Let's see how powerful this is now. Of course it misses one of them. That's fine though. We can still... Uh, actually, let's go with widespread with the arrows. Instead of that, then let's go ahead and bring Matt back out. Okay, this isn't anything dangerous. I was expecting something dangerous to be here. I know these guys aren't guarding anything, but still, though, I expected something dangerous. Alright, well, let's, uh, like always, focus widespread on... Oh, we can't focus on fire on those guys. Okay, that changes some things. I guess if that's the case, uh, why don't we then... Let's get Natalie back out. 
because she has strong magic attacks, and we can now test out her new ability, the Ice Storm. A widespread ice attack. My ice spells have pretty low chance of freezing enemies, but at least the damage is good. Uh, let's also... Yeah, just focus a lot on widespread attacks at this time, I'd say. Because I'm not entirely sure the best way of going about any of this at this time. Yeah, of course, that guy's going to use that to heal. Nothing I'm worried about, though. Because that's very fairly simple to counter. Let's start casting. I, I remember that uh, Anna can use that to heal. So why don't we cast a weaponing attack on you. Then cast another widespread ice attack. Then, okay, another one of these. Because that should finish off all the... Oh, one of them is just barely still alive. Okay. Alright, that's fine. A precision shot should finish you off. I'm gonna use a precision shot just to make sure they're at, they actually go down. And then that just leaves you to deal with. Which we now have Pulsar. Which I just remembered we had that. Also, they are being a bit difficult to take out. So with that being said, I may need to whip out some high accuracy attacks here. If I want to be able to take this guy out. So let's give lock on it to Anna, why don't we? Allowing her to have just as much accuracy as that enemy does evasion. Which should be able to... Unfortunately, wasn't enough to take it out. Giving it a chance to heal. Luckily... It didn't increase anything else, so we're good. That completes uh, this first room, it seems. So let's move on to over here. Where we... Oh, that's right, we explored that room already. It says the intended path is up, except I want to know what's over here. There is currently nothing we can do over here at the moment. We have these plants that are blocking the way over there. So we can't get to that at the moment. We should be able to later. So the only way we can go for now is up here. This place uh, is nothing but trees in every direction. Ah, something in my eye. Uh, this place is nothing but trees in every direction. Uh, there's no way of telling which way to go. It all looks the same. Uh, there's a river that runs through this jungle. And it reaches... Uh, the edge of Greenwood Village. I think we should follow that river until it, it leads us to the north again. And the last town is sure to be around there. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Hmm, good plan. Oh boy, that's a big, big looking blockade enemy. Uh, note to tourists, you shouldn't be here, go home. Okay. Alright, let's uh, save before fighting that thing, because that thing looks tough. Uh, did we get a horse update? Alright, let's give these guys a scan. To see what we're up against. These are the horse forts. Not actually a real horse. Uh, uses mostly non-elemental attacks and can buff other foes. Alright, so let's focus on widespread fire attacks then. Like I always like to. And why don't we check out our bullet hell attack. Expert fire attack, which uh, focus it, which centers around one target specifically, but still has some... Uh, widespread dealing lesser damage to other foes. Oh, uh, okay, these guys have the chance of summoning allies, which may make them a bit dangerous. Uh, nonetheless, I think we should still be able to have a decent chance against these guys. Uh, let's focus, actually, a fireball on one of them. No, Firestorm, I think, is still the useful spell to use here. 
And then why don't we go ahead and cast another Flame Burst. Dealing damage to a decent number of them. And then, okay, cast refre Refresh on Anna so Anna doesn't die. Really whipping out the strong enemies there. Not a bad idea, but at the same time... Uh... Not the most useful. Also, these guys are very weak to earth attacks, so maybe whipping out that Gaia Blossom will be a bit helpful here. Also, they're very weak to magic attacks, which would make this easier on me, since I can just focus towards uh, one target at a time. And easily take out the side enemy, so I mainly need to worry about stuff like that. Okay. So I'm going to have to worry about stuff like that. Alright, let's get uh, Lance revived and whip out Matt at this time. Because I think it'll help if we have Matt whip out a Dispel to get rid of that attack and defense buff. As well as their Brave status effect. Because that's what's really making things dangerous here. And of course only one of them gets Dispelled. So let's focus. Uh, let's cast Lumber, which is a high damage dealing Earth attack on that enemy there. Of course, it activates that. I'm starting to think that's not an actual horse. Well, obviously it's not. Alright, Anna, heal yourself. Uh, what should Natalie do here? I don't know. But let's just keep having Matt try to dispel them. Because they need to get dispelled. And then cast another Firestorm. That was enough. That thing's probably going to blow up. Yep. Another high damage dealing attack. Let's have Natalie focus towards healing this turn. Try to focus all out on seeing if I can take one of them out right now. They're very weak to earth attacks at this time, so which one's stronger here? Eruption or Cataclysm? Cataclysm is stronger here. Which is my strongest earth physical attack. Whoa, that was awesomer than I thought it would be. Uh, yikes. Uh, Natalie has been hit. That would have been more useful to be sent Natalie's way, but okay. I guess I'm not complaining. Anyway, we have enough here that we can take one of them out. So let's focus an attack on you. Because the rest should be able to take out. And no, it didn't get taken out. That's fine, though. This should be enough to take one of them out. And you're going down. Leaving only one cat left. And only one of those guys that should take only one more hit out. And, of course, Anna dies. So as long as nothing hits that guy, we can quick uh, revive Anna and finish this cat off. All right. Down it goes. And moving on. I'm next. Oh, we also have that enemy over there. Uh, I'll upgrade your battle cat if you feed me, nah. It's just that simple, nah. Okay. Oh yeah, make sure you're picking up those eggs as you go. Quite a bit going on over here. <laughs> a bug flew in my mouth. I hate this place already. Well, it's gonna be like this for a while, Lance, so get comfy. In the meantime, we do need to regenerate a bit of health, so like always, let's take some time to upgrade some skills. Starting with... What, are, what might be the use, most useful thing to upgrade here? We can upgrade a lot of things. Why don't we upgrade Lumber? have that maxed out and then we can also oh no Gaia Blossom can't be upgraded any further now so let's then upgrade why don't we upgrade Spark Arrow because that's a fairly powerful attack alright so that'll be good there and we're about at full health that we can go up against the next enemy Oh, this. Remember these flower combinations, because I believe we're going to be having to deal with them a lot later on in the game. So to get started, let's whip out Scanbot. 
These are the Florence, a red flower which uses poison attacks, will self-destruct at low HP. Keep in mind they can be frozen and stunned, so that's a key detail you'll want to keep in mind throughout all of this. Let's cast some high power fire attacks. Stun one of the- oh, of course they don't get stunned. And they're extremely powerful. And as mentioned before, these things are capable of, well, killing us, obviously. Alright, so let's uh, get Lance out of- uh, Lance out here for now, to be safe. And we can cast a bullet hell on one of them. Enough damage to take out some of the other bushes. Let's see if it, this will stun them this time. Okay, good. It got stunned that time. And it got stunned again, giving me a chance to uh, get some defenses up and stuff for a few turns. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's whip out Natalie. And I'm going to have Matt focus on casting Protect. Natalie, you get the barrier up. I keep forgetting where everything is. The two different menus always confuses me. And then cast uh, Reflex to increase our evasion. And of course, that'll take them out. Allowing us to take on our next enemy. We have another new foe on screen. So first things first, I'm going to have Natalie cast Heal more just to be safe. Probably should have just whipped out Lance, but oh well. Let's uh, stun one of those plants back there and focus all out on ta attacking the other one. How strong is our ice attack at the moment? Just as strong as Eruption. So I'd say we'll get nothing useful out of that. Let's just cast Eruption on one of them. So those uh, plants are high attacking, meaning that we need to really focus on taking them out. And we have a plant that heals. Which is a dangerous combo. So yeah, we really need to focus on taking that guy out. So let's whip out bullet hell. On that plant there. Uh, try to stun that guy. If not, I'll take him out with Matt. And then why don't we have Matt uh, use a scan bot on this new enemy. This healing plant we have here. It can also heal itself, too. Alright, anyway, we have the Heezy. A white flower which uses earth attacks and can heal other foes. Making it reasonably dangerous. So let's focus a bunch of attacks towards it. So we can quickly get it taken out. And down it goes. Regular attack should finish you off. Alright, we can grab that now. Anyway, back to upgrading some skills. We wanted to upgrade a few things. I... What does Dark Flare do? Uh, may dispel targets. Uh, of course, everyone already has dark abilities at this point. So I don't really see the point of Dark Flare, because the only one that could really use that is Anna, since she doesn't have any dark attacks. But of course, she's the only character that can't learn it. So I guess I'll just teach that one to Matt, because I think while Frey and Screamer are useful for debuffing magic attack, or magic defense, I think it's like not high damage dealing, so I think that's where Dark Flare will come in handy. Alright, moving on. We have a cat over here. Three waves of enemies. And there appears to be a lot coming our way too. So we have a lot to deal with here. So let's deal some high power damage attacks. I did not pay attention to what that said. Nor am I going to make a big deal out of it. Since my main focus is just simply trying to take these guys out. Why don't we cast Hurricane here? That should be enough to deal some decent damage. Mostly just cats at the moment, so I'm not too worried. 
All right, that'll take those guys out. We have more enemies to deal with. Uh, so why don't we... Oh, wait, that's one of the easier enemies. I probably should have focused towards the middle one. Oh, well, we can always focus on something else. Uh, how powerful is our lightning attack? Spark is a very weak attack at the moment, so it's not going to be very useful. Uh, we can... Regular attack is also just as strong here, so why don't we do a regular attack? Of course, it barely doesn't take it out. Which, Anna's on the verge of death, so... Anna needs to heal this turn. Alright, let's focus attack on one of those enemies. And then we can have Matt finish one of them off. Alright, so now... Alright, let's do what we did last time. We're... Okay, never mind. We're going straight into the last wave. Which, would it be more useful to... No, let's focus all out on the fire attacks. Let's focus solely on attacking the middle one, I'd say. And then, why don't we go ahead and whip out Natalie for this. So she can whip out her widespread fire attack. So that'll take out the middle one, leaving only some of the side enemies remaining. Then we can cast Hurricane, which will be decent damage dealing. Which, unfortunately, isn't enough to take them all out. That's okay, though. We still dealt some decent damage that turn. And next turn, we should be able to finish them off. Oh, wow, they're all pretty much dead at this point. I didn't even notice that. I always forget about some of those status effects. We have the Vortex Cannon Gun. I'm not too focused at the moment in trying to upgrade any of my weapons. I'm mainly focused on trying to get some skills upgraded, as well as other things. So at this time, we have a few other things we can upgrade. Aqua Arrow definitely deals decent damage, so i say let's upgrade that. Then in terms of Matt's abilities, we have a lot of abilities that Matt can upgrade. Why don't we give him the big spark ability? Then what else might we want to upgrade? We can't upgrade the protection spell just yet. We can upgrade some of these other spells and attacks. So why don't we upgrade Cleaver and upgrade Eruption? Since there's a lot of plant-based enemies around here as well as Swift Slash. Now uh, we're ready for the next wave. This is another blockade enemy. Uh, cats have adapted to riding bushes. I'll drag you down from there, you filthy beast. Alright, so we have another new enemy to deal with here. So, let's see what it's about. First things first, let's prepare some widespread fire attacks. Making it the only one left on screen. Let's see if it can be frozen this turn. If I can freeze it, yeah, I pretty much... Went through an entire turn without having to fight. Or having to, like, defend or anything. Alright, so, Natalie, why don't you be the one to whip out scan bots so we can see what we're up against. We have the big green bush. A huge version of the green bush. Uses earth and poison attacks and can buff other foes. Summons cats, soldiers, and bushes. Luckily, we're not even going to get it the chance to do anything because it's going to die very quickly. Oh, and a med pack. Thank you very much. We did just level up the uh, eruption ability with Matt, so why don't we test out the st new strength of eruption? Oh, we actually took it out. All right, that was good. All right, take you out, because the haunted tree is a little bit of an no annoyance. All right, deal with the big guy. Leaving only the smaller enemies left. Alright, one down. Let's whip out this again. Dealing decent damage. So, let's go ahead and take an opportunity to get our defenses up. And then, Anna, you heal yourself. Ooh. 
And the burn status effect took it out. Allowing us now to... Okay, we're now going to have to focus on... Big book she cat thing used razor leaf. It was somewhat effective. Why is it get to make the first move? Didn't the uh, other person's turn just end? The Horn of Gundor. It boosts their morale. Okay. We may be a bit in a bit of trouble. Because these guys are going to be a bit tougher now. So let's see if we can... Okay, that's not going to work. I wanted to see if I could quickly take them out, but that doesn't seem to be hap uh, that doesn't seem to be in the cards for us this turn. So let's continue. Let's try and stun that one, so we can at least have a fighting chance against uh, trying to tank one of them. And now we're a bit low on health that we're gonna need to take a turn to heal. That is unless we can take them out in time. Let's see how we do. And some decent damage there, nice. So let's uh, aim for this one to see if we can take that one out. Oh, very close. Let's uh, cast a Swift Slash since that'll take that one out. Then we can stun this one down here. And down it goes. We got some good XP for that encounter. Allowing us to now go up here to get some more treasure, as well as, uh, go up against some more dangerous enemies. Anything hiding back here? It does not look like it. Moving on, we have a few things over here. Hey there. I have no idea how to cross this river. Ugh, got something in my eye again. Uh, that path of lily pads won't support my way it. And that bridge over there is broken. I think I'm still missing a few key items. Uh, yes, you are indeed missing a few key items at this time. I'm gonna head up a little bit. Eek, I stepped, stepped on something slimy. The ground here is impossible. Can someone carry me, please? You say something? I just said I want to get out of here faster. Alright, so this is the next area. Where the way forward is being guarded by an octopus. We did find another egg. And yeah, a few decent enemies over here guarding the way forward. So why don't we go back down here and face off against this enemy. Because this one is just a big slime. So it should go down easily. Alright, let's uh, get Natalie out here for some widespread fire attacks. Ooh, took nearly everything out. Okay. And freeze it with the ice arrow. We'll just keep doing that. Uh, we'll be here all day uh, just enjoying ourselves. So let's uh, whip out our strongest attackers. Just focus all out on trying to attack it. Fairly weak fire spell. I might want to think about leveling that up at some point. Alright, this should finish it off. That was not enough to finish it off. Okay. I guess uh, I'll just take this turn to raise some of our stats while we're at it. You know how much I like raising the stats. By doing that, we'll be ready for the next wave. Alright, took a bit of damage there, but that's okay. Because these next guys should be... Okay, we did, probably didn't even need to buff a lot of our stats for this. Also, Anna is taking a lot of damage. A lot more than I was expecting. No matter, we should still be able to take them out just fine. We'll start with a widespread fire attack. And then have Matt focus uh, his eruption on one target. And then cast Frost Arrow to freeze one of them. Good counter, Matt. Thing 
we took the time to buff our defenses beforehand. Alright, the slimes are down. Now I just focus on finishing off one of the big ones. The only real thing uh, that makes these guys annoying is the fact that they're damage sponges. That's a really... only th bad thing about the big slimes. It's like... They really don't deal a whole ton of damage. It's just that they're damage sponges. Alright, next turn I'm pretty sure the that other big slime should be going down. Ooh. Nice luck with the med pack there. Alright, that should... Yep, get us back up there. So let's go ahead and start whipping out Lance so he can start casting his uh, bullet hell attack on the big slime. Then we can focus our last turn towards uh, spamming freeze on it. And oh dear, Mac got turned into a slime. This isn't fight funny. Either kill me now or change me back. Don't worry about it, Matt. You're fine. The only thing you have to worry about is the other slime on screen, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, we're good. Alright, one more turn and uh, we should have this. Oh, or now. Okay. Allowing us to get this chest down here, which now gives us the Bubble Badge Flare. Increases water and wet resistance. Uh, this bridge has been marked for repair and will be fixed as soon as we find the step ladder. In the meantime, we are sorry for the inconvenience, the bridge company. Alright, so moving on, we have some more enemies to deal with. So let's take a moment while our MP is regenerating to upgrade some more stuff, because I really think I want to get that bullet hell upgraded. Oh, we can also get the hyper beam. Takes two turns to use, it uses MP twice, targets all foes, element and effects depend on current weapon. So now we can learn that. We can also learn plasma field. I'm focusing on learning the new stuff that we have not like mastered yet is what I'm kind of trying to focus on we can upgrade this we can also upgrade unload that's a useful spell so why don't we get that upgraded at this time and we can go ahead and uh, get a move on now let's start with dealing with you over here oh boy we got some healing flowers on screen Let's immediately start things off with them, because they can be quite annoying to deal with. Alright, and then go ahead and freeze the bush. Since by doing... Oh no, that's right! Healing is gonna... And it's blessed now, so I can't inflict status effects. Oh, I should have focused my freezing towards the flower rather than the big bush. Great. Alright, let's just focus all out on the attack then. Let's, start, let's get that holy flower out of here. The the heezy, because it, it's going to be a continuous nuisance if I leave it out on screen. But now Anna's ability is practically useless, since she can't instill any status effects. So I guess for now I'll just try and focus like her strongest earth attack on it. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Because as long as that brave or that blessed status effect remains on screen, we're in trouble. Also, Anna actually managed to die to what are mostly weak enemies. So now I'm going to have to focus a turn towards reviving Anna. Alright, well, two can play at this game, buddy. Let's uh, activate, refresh on Anna. Matt, you keep trying to focus on those eruptions on the big bush. Until it goes down. Because so we're doing fairly decent against it. Yikes, that thing is powerful. That thing managed to kill Natalie. Okay, then. I'm, I guess we're going to really have to focus our attacks on... Uh, taking out that those cats. Because yikes. Alright, so we're going to need to focus some attacks towards those cats, because I was not expecting them to actually manage to take us out. 
All right, next turn, that big one should be going down. Baby bushes, they're so cute. Oh, yikes. Um, that dealt a lot of damage. All right, let's get Natalie out here. So Natalie can get some characters revived. All right, Matt, take out the big bush. So it's no longer a nuisance. Alright, now we can... I still need to revive... Lance. This is gonna be a bit annoying because we have a lot on screen to worry about at this time. Should I consider maybe something else? Okay, how about this? Let's cast a refresh on Lance. And then we try and deal as much damage as possible to that big flower. Because that's going to be the biggest nuisance at this time. And we're wet. Which is a... And that's a problem. And Natalie's dead now. This is a big problem. So I'd say what we do at this time... We get Lance revived. And then have him cast Oblivion. These guys aren't exactly weak to bomb attacks, but it's our best shot against dealing with some of those more annoying enemies at this time. And of course, it doesn't take him out quick enough, so those two are probably about to die again. Yep. Oh, all three of them are dead. Are we actually gonna die? Okay, that thing focused towards stat buff, so we have a slight chance of survival here. Except now I'm gonna really need to focus on some reviving here this next turn. Had I known that these guys would be this dangerous, I would have probably focused towards some stat buffs. Well, it's a good thing I took the time to uh, purchase some healing items. But not die if I eat too much. Well, we're kind of left with no choice at the moment. As long as these guys continue to deal high damage. And Anna's dead now. Alright, keep at it with the, those attacks. And, okay, Natalie did not die, thankfully. But we still have a bunch of characters that are in need of uh, revival. So I think what I want to do this turn is... Let's actually just focus all out on the revives this turn. But actually, no. We should probably keep us all well healed. So let's use the pineapple. Should I consider using cleaver? We still have to scan that uh, aquatic flower. So let's quick do that before it gets killed off. That's probably going to be a bad move, though, considering the fact that we still have a lot to deal with here. And if those guys decide to whip out something dangerous, I might be dead. And everyone is dead again. All right, at least the flower is down. But yikes, we keep having to revive everyone. We're going to be at this all day at this rate. Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, I can't do that. Right as I got my hands on that limit break, too. That's disappointing. Alright, there's gotta be something we can do here. I am going to whip out uh, the limit break that... Oh, we could use Absolute Zero, actually, to have a turn to freeze them. That could give us a chance at being able to uh, recover ourselves. As long as they... Okay, one of them got frozen. And they just used the stat buffing move, which means we we have a chance here. Let's revive Lance this turn. Because we have a few turns to do a few things. So I'm going to do what's most important. Which is, like always, focusing a turn to get us all healed up here. Then I'm going to see if I can get that bush frozen. Because we got to do something about it. And I think I just healed with the wrong character by mistake. Well, I can still try dealing high damage to it, at least, because we're close to taking it out. Never did I expect to have to use limit breaks on regular enemies, but here we are. And, of course, a random chance attack 
whips that guy out of uh, his him being frozen. Which I guess is a dangerous drawback of uh, freezing enemies for more than one turn. Nonetheless, at least I have a chance at being able to get them out of here. Let's take out these side enemies so they aren't a nuisance. Because now we just have the regular bush to worry about. As long as we keep doing that. Finally! Okay, I was very worried there that we were actually going to lose, but we actually managed to win somehow. Somehow we managed to beat them. It was very close, but oh, nonetheless, we're alive. Also, I see that secret item over there. We have the pirate dress armor, plus attack when hit uh, by a powerful attack. Or oh, there's also a chest up here containing some items. Alright, well, that was a bit of a tougher fight than I expected, so like always, while we're waiting for things to regenerate, let's get some things upgraded. Uh, we have enough to upgrade the uh, this, so let's get that upgraded, so it's as strong as Matt's ability now. Let's also upgrade some more fire abilities, because a lot of these fire abilities really need to get upgraded. And of course, it was only a little bit away from being maxed out, too. So now Fireball is now at max power. And then... Hmm. I guess we could get that. Let's max that out first, though. As for what Matt has, we can still upgrade Eruption eventually. We can also upgrade Legend at some point. I guess we'll give Hellfire to Matt at this time. Anna, what can I upgrade for you? A lot of stuff, actually. So for ne Anna, I think I want to upgrade Gaia Blossom, because that's a useful widespread attack. And I like using it often in certain scenarios to make it easier to avoid attacks and hit my opponents. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Uh, we do not have a scan on this new enemy yet, so why don't we... Uh, let's uh, play things a bit safer these next few rounds. Let's start... I think we're at the point of the game where we're, for every battle, going to want to focus on getting our defenses up. Because a lot of the uh, uh, enemies we've been going up against are getting rather tough. So let's try and see if we can free this, this guy, and unfortunately we were unable to freeze it this turn. Alright, let's try scanning it now to see what we're up against. We have the River Squid, a giant squid which lives in shallow waters and uses water and thunder attacks. And oh, that explains it. It's uh, okay. Alright, nonetheless, we now have the upgraded Gaia Blossom. Uh, which gives those guys... Okay, it doesn't work on those guys, though. So let's focus on taking out some of those blue jellyfish before anything else. As well as keeping the party healed. So let's focus on taking those smaller jellyfish out first. Then we can start focusing all out on the big jellyfish. These guys really make like making everything wet. And Matt's stunned. So I'm going to have to get him off the field for a little while. While I focus all out on some other attacks. We can use Plasma Field to damage it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can use Plasma Field. So let's show off that ability on this blue jelly over here. Which is a high power attack. And man said let there be light, and there was light, and it was awesome. Alright, next. Let's have Natalie cast... Uh, her thunderstorm attack. So we can take out some of those cats. Now we can focus all out on Gaia Blossom. And see it's the amount of power it has. 
One hit was all that took to take out Natalie. One hit. I did not like that. Let's see, one hit to just to take out Natalie. Not a fan. Alright, let's cast Lumber. That should be a high power attack. And it still staggered it, allowing another high power attack on it. So that'll be useful for something like that. Yikes, man. Did that... Those are some strong attacks. I will I will give it that. Let's do this. That should deal some decent damage. Alright, that wasn't too dangerous. I'm sure I could easily just cast uh, Power Metal and can easily get that all restored. Alright, one more move should take it out, so let's take this turn to get up some defenses. Of course, it focuses towards magic attacks. Alright, that should take it out, allowing me the opening to get to the next wave of enemies, which are quite easy looking. I wonder why they're throwing easy enemies at me. Uh, okay, Hurricane should be useful against you guys. And let's cast an Eruption on one of them. Maybe a bit of a strong attack for a weak enemy, but... Eh, you can never be too careful. And that got countered. And of course they get to make the first move. Which feels very unfair. And Matt just got stunned. So it's useless to have Matt out at this time. So let's have Natalie cast Revive on Lance. And Anna, what do we want Anna to do? I want Anna to do stuff, so let's focus for now on... Ah, Lance can't do anything useful here. Well, he can try and take out some of those water enemies, at least. And I can show off my new anti-matter ability at this time. So I suppose that's something we can do to show you guys what that does. In case you were wondering, my guns are powered by anti-matter catalyzed nuclear. I should have probably took the time to read all of that. Anyway, these enemies have a high chance of being frozen. Uh, but I think I want to focus on keeping at least one of us alive. Let's also maybe try and... Uh, put up a barrier at some point, because I think that could be... Alright, let's at this time... These guys are being a bit tough, so let's whip out Matt. I'm gonna have Lance take a turn to use a coffee on Natalie. Natalie's gonna activate her limit break, and then I'm gonna have uh, Matt perform his usual attack, the Cleaver. Actually, let's show off uh, the other limit break he has, Ragnarok. Since that's a pretty good powered attack, check out uh, my sword collection. All unique, all stolen. Quite powerful widespread attack. Non-elemental, and it is possible to level it up over time too, so that's something you'll want to keep in mind throughout our adventure. Oh, Lance better not... I was just about to say that Lance better not die. And Matt's stunned! Making me very much not happy right now, considering the fact that I just used the last of our limit breaks. And now everyone's dying on me again. Alright, let's focus a... Oh, we can't do that. Let's focus an all-out anti-matter field on the main enemy. And then cast a refresh to keep... Lance alive. Uh, you know how some sea animals can use electricity to stun play? I think he's getting us wet for a thunder attack. Yeah, you think? Alright, let's uh, whip out... Okay, Matt's good. Natalie's also good, because they still have their stats buffed. So we can focus all out on some lightning and earth attacks on this opponent. Now that we're at this point.
yeah, that'll be more useful. Also, we do also have the new ability, the Big Spark, except I think I need to level it up more before it can be as powerful as some of my other attacks. And why don't we focus on keeping Natalie alive at this time? Uh, will that do anything? That did something, I guess. Managed to stagger it with that. Keep focusing on using strong attacks, and it, it will eventually take it out. All right, next turn it, it'll be finished off. Nice going, no legs, and down it goes. That should be. Oh, uh, everyone leveled up except Anna. That was a little bit disappointing. Nonetheless, we're able to move forward now. So I think we want to... Let's try going up first. And there's nothing we can do up here. Also, we're getting to reach the hour mark, so we are pretty much running out of time for this episode. And we got two blockade enemies. Two of them. So yeah, for this episode, I'm going to have to call it here. So with that being said, we, we're making a bit more progress. Let's, uh, in terms of abilities, I guess upgrade the Frost Arrow, because that's an attack I use often. And then upgrade the Precision, or yeah, Whirlwind. Have that maxed out. Matt, what do I want for Matt? I guess I could upgrade Ragnarok a bit in case I decide to use that again to make it reasonably powered. Then, uh... I can't upgrade anything. Oh, I probably had barely enough to upgrade at least maybe the Cataclysm. I guess I'll upgrade maybe Iceberg. I can also upgrade Geyser, except that's not very useful. We can also upgrade power. Let's upgrade Big Spark. That's something we could get upgraded. And then we can also upgrade... What else could we upgrade? Let's upgrade Legend. Because that's a fairly strong attack once you level it up more. We can level, level up quite a few things for Natalie. So why not for Natalie we get upgraded... Oh, she can learn the Black Hole Limit Break. That'll be useful. Then, back to the attacks, let's upgrade the lightning attack, as well as also upgrade her ice spells, why don't we? The uh, individual targeting attacks I think will be useful to level up for Natalie. And let's level up Lucky Star, and that's everything for her. Leaving Lance. Lance has a few useful abilities. I think the big one for me, though, will probably have to be the uh, maxing out the med pack. Because now that healing ability is at full power. So next time on Epic Battle Fantasy 4, uh, we shall take on uh, those next few waves of enemies. So until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent everyone!